Hello, welcome, Goop Dog. Uh, today we are. God, I hate, I hate saying that. Today we are, because that seems to be uh, kind of the crutch uh, of an opener. Uh, looking to uh, cut some trim for the Zeal House. Uh, this is a an off cut uh, of a longer piece, and I just need. Yeah, it's like a sixteenth short of a foot. And so, uh, just coming in here, marking it. This time I'm using the Rusty Trusty Utility Knife. And we're gonna mark it right there. Now, what I'm using to help me hold it, a lot of times I would use the, the vise. Uh, but this is, uh, well, I initially made it for a shooting board, but now I use it to uh, help me cut square. Someday I'll get a miter saw. Someday I will. All right, so you make the mark, then you find the mark. And you have a good solid, solid back behind it. You don't really want to try to be pushing down over here. That's kind of dumb. That is kind of dumb. All right, now in this case, since it's set. <coughs> Sellers likes to call it. I love using it. Man, I really want my saw to be able to register in a cut. Now, oh, I got my dovetail saw. This is cut up for rip, but really, I found that rip saws work very well in a cross cut. But crosscut saws don't rip well. I've heard things that say both ways. You know, back in the day, guys used to either file their saws for rip or crosscut. Um, I imagine, much like anything, it was probably personal preference. times what I like to do is I'll use this back here just to kind of help stabilize my saw, kind of get a, a, a third hand back there, if you will. So I'm, I'm pushing it into the, the fence. The, the board here is fixed into the vise. And then you just okay. Say, I would say that's fairly close to square. So do anyone who says hand tools are not accurate? You go fly a kite. Run that the other way. Pazow. Pazow bing bang. All right. That's just kind of a quick and easy way to do that. Uh, let's see here. Let's clean up. Let's clean up. You know what? I'm about to get rid of these old orange chisels. My half inch, I think I've gotten past what you could call usable. Um, usable steel. It curls over really easy now, but I've gotten a couple of years of use out of them. And I've not been kind to them. I was uh, learning how to use them. 
of mortises with them. Mostly pine though, so I don't know. But for 20 bucks for a set of three, you can't go wrong. Ah. What I'm doing now is I'm just kind of cutting a little relief on the back side. So when you put it into the corner, there's going to be bits of the texture sticking out from the wall. There's going to be who knows what. Uh, and so. so we do that. Now I'm careful to not do the chamfer all the way up to the top because you may see that a little bit. Where this is tucked at, I don't think you will. Um, but just in case. And then we can do the same thing here. This, one, this is on the back bottom side. Just. Now we have a piece of trim that's all ready to go to be installed. Now if you were going to do this like in a whole home, you'd get one of those big miter saws that has a, you know, it's a giant blade on it, has the entire setup, um, just to make it a little bit easier and quicker. But that's, I mean, you can use hand tools for that. Even on finished pieces, leaves a nice clean edge there, and we're ready to go. Right. We're back. Uh, did test it, and we're about a blade's width too short, which I hate. I hate with passion. Uh, but that's where and this thing, this board isn't isn't the best for it. But that's where shooting board comes in handy to correct when you're just a little bit off. can do it this way. That's what I need to take just the slightest bit off here. Actually, this way. I found that if you, so on uh, vices, there's the various bars that go back. If you put it on the uh, far side of the direction you're planing, it'll help hold <coughs> whatever you got in. Now, one thing you want to be careful, careful of, you can either, I'm just plowing through it because like I said, where it's at, uh, I can come and touch this up, you won't ever see it. And back here, you won't ever see this. this is on the back side. So that is not a big thing. Or you can just be careful and not go all the way through. And then you come back around to the other side. you keep it square. I shouldn't say lucky if you're good. Am I good? I am not good. See that? That right there is fairly square. Then when you come over here, you can see the tiniest gaps and that will show up. That will show up. So let's
see here we are. Reasonably square that way. Reasonably square that way, except for a little bit at the bottom. You'll see it. All right, let's go try this again.